Hi, I'm Ye. I'm a PhD student from CMU. I will present our work DLO, which is a method to generate diverse samples from a pre-trained generative model, and we apply it for diverse human motion prediction. Our code will be made available on the project web page. The task of human motion prediction or forecasting is that given past human motion, which usually consists of a sequence of 3D human poses, we want to learn a model that can map the past motion to the future motion. There are two types of approaches for human motion prediction. The first one is the deterministic approach, where we learn a deterministic generator, typically a neural network, to map the past motion to a single future motion. Because the future motion of a person is usually uncertain, a clear drawback of this approach is that it cannot capture multiple possible future motions. This limitation motivates the second approach that models stochasticity in the future motion, which is also the approach we use in the paper. This approach learns a generative model where each mode of the future motion is represented in a Gaussian latent space as illustrated here by different colored areas. By mapping latent codes from different modes with the generator, we can obtain different types of future motion samples. However, the stochastic approach has its own limitations. At test time, in many cases, the generative model often only produces very similar samples and has low sample diversity and efficiency. This has serious real-world implications because in many applications like self-driving vehicles or assistive robots, low sample diversity can lead to unsafe planning because the system cannot anticipate various possibilities. And low sample efficiency means the system has to compute many samples, which can lead to high latency in real-time applications. To understand why generative models fail to produce diverse samples, we need to look at how generative models typically produce samples at test time. They first draw latent codes randomly and independently from the latent prior, based only on likelihood, and then decode the latent codes into motion samples. As a result, samples may only cover the major mode, which is the blue mode here, just because it has higher likelihood and fail to cover other modes with lower likelihood, resulting in low sample diversity and efficiency. To address this issue, we need a sampling method that has diversity in mind and knows not to place samples near one another and covers as many modes as possible. The goal of our DLO sampling method is to improve sample diversity and efficiency for generative models at test time. The method takes a pre-trained generative model as input and outputs a sampler for the generative model. DLO correlates the samples by introducing a common Gaussian variable, epsilon, and it generates k different samples by mapping epsilon to latent code z1 to zk with different affine transformations t. When t are identity mappings, the latent codes z1 to zk are all the same, and their sample space shown as the colorful areas covers the whole latent space. By changing the parameters psi of the transformations, we can change the sample space covered by different latent codes. By changing AK, we will rotate the latent codes, and the latent codes Z1 to ZK are no longer the same, even though they cover the same space. AK can also scale the latent codes, which in turn scales their sample space. BK will translate the latent codes and their sample space. The transformation parameters psi k are generated by a network that is conditioned on past motion c. This is because the mode in the latent space is conditioned on the past motion as well. Once the latent codes are produced, DLO maps them to the motion samples x1 to xk with the generator. In order to optimize the network that generates the transformations t, we formulate our DLO objective as a combination of two terms, L prior and LKL, which focus on diversity and likelihood respectively. And the weighting factor beta controls the trade-off between diversity and likelihood. 
By optimizing the transformations with this DLO objective, each latent code attends to a different area in the latent space and results in more diverse motion samples. Now let's take a closer look at the DLO objective. I will first talk about the prior term, which is used to promote sample diversity. Here let's briefly recap the DLO sampling process. We first draw a common Gaussian variable, epsilon, and transform epsilon with k different affine transformations to k latent codes. This process induces a marginal latent distribution on each latent code zk and a joint latent distribution on the whole set of latent codes. Then, each zk is mapped to a motion sample zxk by the generator, which induces a marginal sample distribution on each motion sample xk and a joint sample distribution on the whole set of motion samples. The prior loss is defined as a cross entropy between the joint sample distribution and the diversifying prior. The prior follows an energy-based formulation and the energy penalizes small pairwise distance between samples. This objective can be easily approximated with Monte Carlo sampling. The diversity term alone can drive samples to very low likelihood region just to achieve more diversity. Thus, we need a likelihood term to pull the samples back to high likelihood region. Our KL term does exactly this. It is defined as the KL divergence between the marginal latent distribution and the Gaussian latent prior. A good thing about the affine transformations is that the latent codes after the transformations are still Gaussians, which leads to a closed form solution of the KL divergence and eliminates the need for Monte Carlo estimates, which have high variance. Now let's take a look at the quantitative results of DLO. We evaluated on two public human motion datasets, Human 3.6 million and Human EVA. We use both diversity and accuracy metrics. We compare against both deterministic and stochastic baselines, as well as diversity promoting methods for generative models. As demonstrated in the table, our method outperforms the baselines in terms of both sample diversity and accuracy. Here we show some qualitative comparison of DLO against baselines. We show the past motion, ground truth future motion, and 10 motion samples for each method. Here we show additional results for DLO. Here we show the trade-off between diversity and the likelihood by adjusting the weighting factor beta before the KL term. We can see that a large beta produces more likely but less diverse motion samples, while a small beta generates diverse and less likely, yet still plausible motion samples. Our DLO formulation also enables new applications like controllable motion prediction that constrains the lag motions to be similar across the motion samples. To conclude, the traditional random sampling approach for deep generative models is suboptimal for producing samples at test time. Our approach DLO couples sample generation and allows us to impose structures like diversity on the generated samples. Experiments demonstrated that DLO significantly increases sample diversity and efficiency. Some interesting future directions are going beyond FM mappings for latent transformations and also imposing other desirable properties on the samples.